There's your buddy. <laughs> That's what he thinks of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Come on. <laughs> I will catch up with you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. How about dueling hockey coaches? Right, Tomorrow, boys, let's, off, yeah. let's go. Ezzy, Netter. Allie, Macker, let's change before we get that entry there, eh? Because Patty's already coming off. We got to start hitting them, boys. Boys, that's all starts on the wall, not taking a hit. It's an unusual and very busy Maple Leaf America on the bus, brought to you by Boston Pizza, when we come back. Wichita Thunder head coach Derek Laxell thinks Oklahoma City Blazers head coach Doug Sauter is past it and should give up the game. Doug Sauter thinks Derek Laxell is a bit dishonest and can't be trusted. The Blazers are hosting the Thunder and both coaches are wearing microphones. Come on boys, come on boys, here we go now, let's pick it up. Let's have some fun here boys. Get her deep right off the hop here, D. Get some ribs going. Get her deep here, boys. Right off the hop here. Get some ribs going. Good change. Good change. Right to park here. Good four check, Parks. Good four check. Brendan Morrow opens the scoring. 1-0 Oklahoma City. Good job, boys. Good job. Nice pass, bro. Have a go. Nice play. Let's go. Hair off your line. Hair off. We got to get it out there, boys. The Badger, got to get it out. Pass goes right through the crease, does it not? Boy, Doug, that's right there with it. Wait, Patty. Wait, hey. Wait, Patty. They're taking that play down low from you, eh? You guys got to collapse there. We got to collapse. He's less open. He's less came down back door. Is he open? Yeah, he's open for He's open like he's got to come down more of the pipe. And then he's got a drift in the back door just to draw them tighter. You can take one walk it behind too. There's a lot of wound there. Bring it, Jay! Good kill, boys. Good kill. Pat, check your skates there. Down there. Go, two defense. That's a good drive in that, boys. Good go. drive in that. Good drive, boys. Good drive. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Cars. Cars. Parksy. Yep. Big shift here, boys. Big shift. Go ahead, Parksy. Let's go, Clay. Good kick in. Good boot. Get your stick. Get it. Good pass, Dougie. Go, go, go! Dougie played, good job right here. 
Meadows first guy. Of course, make sure we box out when the puck goes to the point for the shot. Two guys jump behind you. You were coming back? No, I was okay, but he was on the mid wall and then had to come back okay. and forward. Alright, Brandon, walk on it. Okay. And Wichita takes a 2-1 lead to the dressing room. Vander, good period, some good ticks there, you know, kept it in there. Boys, we know 28 and 10 are going to pressure on the PK. They're going to come all night. So we got to get the pucks low there. Okay, we can work the guys three on two down low then. You know those guys are going to stay high. Play Tug if you can. You can reverse sides there and catch a guy like Cog. had that one in the slot there in the last minute there. The, um, on our back check and the refs telling Clay there, move your feet. They're going to call obstruction challenge on us. So make sure you get on the good defensive side. Discipline, boys. That's the key. That's what be beats these guys. Good discipline. Okay. We had some good wide drives, pucks to the middle, pucks wide, and we can get the entry on them. If they pinch you off in the wall, soft dump it, middle guy drive for the puck. The goal that Clay got was a good middle drive, cross ice pass, driving the net, throwing the puck in that. We had some good chances. Cart, good shorthanded chance there. Solid second period here, boys. Right now, we gotta get this back. Here's how much pucks we Push A! Push A! Wake up here! I got ya. Go serve Where are you going? Hold on, hold on. Macker, go serve it. Again, you're listening to Oklahoma City head coach Doug Sauter and Wichita head coach Derek Laxdahl, one right after the other, back and forth. Matter. Mazer, matter, Mazer. Puck goes in the corner. We have three guys go in. Nobody talks. Nobody nothing. I haven't even had it close to a shot on goal. Boys, that's too late. Out of boy, Doug. Whoa. Place out there. Okay. Patty. Cart. Patty, cart. Macker's going to stay and then come, okay? Moments later, on a delayed call against Wichita for slashing, Oklahoma City is called for too many men on the ice, but the goalie had headed to the bench. Wichita claimed the Blazers had too many men anyway. Tell me it's six guys the whole time. Get up the lines, man, and us. We f***ing call them. We didn't get one, though, right? Well, you we saw it. We got one, too. Linesman, you saw it. What's he say? What's he say? Let's be smart here, boys. This guy. This guy saw it right here. This guy. This guy saw it right here. Wake him up. We need a guy to serve. He's got to tell you something what I told you. Unbelievable. They won't find a way to get two minutes slashing in this game. Wichita. After a two-minute delay, not a threat because they never look at the net. They know what you're going to do all the time. Flash or alley, you got Dougie Clay. Both of them are uh, Pallet, get ready to go. Rapper. Of course, you met me. Oh, 
part is causing that big shift here. Guy, just make sure a couple things here. Stay out of the box. Got to stay out of the box this turn. He'll call a couple penalties here, right? Be smart here, boys. Good solid hockey. Get the pucks in. Wide entry. All right? Shoot the puck on this kid and get the traffic. Blaz a nice goal. Let's be ready here, boys. Big period. Win the period. Win the game. Win the period. Win the game. We can give him this shot from out here on the outside, but we cannot give him that lane in the middle. Sticks busy. Sticks busy. No passes through. And let's get going. Kill this off. If we get a chance to go offense, let's go at it. Kill it off and let's go to work. They're going to be playing a 1-4. We can carry the puck. We can carry the puck. Defense can make one pass, one move, get by, carry it right up. Let's put it at the net. This is not a good goaltender. All right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Didn't catch him. Tell him you gotta get that in. Cost is a penalty, a turnover. The guy that's the best player on the ice, you give him the puck. Gotta drill it in. Too casual. Lachlan, Forslund. Let's get it over. We got lots of time yet. But not enough. The Thunder was looking to win its ninth straight against Oklahoma City, and they'd get it by the 4-2 final. The young whippersnapper beats the Cowboy. Back with more Maple Leaf America on the bus after this. Not uncommon in the Central League, Oklahoma City would play three games in three days. After a Friday win at old rival Tulsa, the Saturday loss against new rival Wichita, That's disappointing. the Blazers would strap them on again for a Sunday home game against the Memphis River Kings. The game would mark the return of injured scorer Khalil Thomas. Earlier in the week, Thomas's head coach may have been losing patience, waiting for the dinged up eight-year pro. I think he's got uh, the capabilities of being a leader and being one of the best players on our hockey club, but uh, he's got to get healthy before he can show us that. And uh, he's had a couple of games that he's been brilliant and some games that he's been so-so, but uh, we're hoping a healthy Khalil Thomas can be a big part of our hockey club and get us in the playoff hunt. And in the playoffs is exactly where you want Khalil Thomas. In 2002 and 2003, he led the Memphis River Kings to back-to-back -to -back Central League championships. During the latter campaign, he scored the series-clinching goal in all three rounds. He had 43 points in 30 games over the two postseasons. It seems like uh, every playoff, I, I just happen to wake up, you know? Playoffs come around, it's a new season, everybody starts from zero, and for some reason, I just, I just happen to wake up. So. Uh, I usually wake up around the playoff uh, time. But for the sake of making the playoffs, the Blazers need Thomas immediately. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. For the third straight day, Brendan Morrow opens the score. And the fresh legs of Thomas give the Blazers a lift.
fun. In the end, the Blazers win 4 2. Great game tonight. Uh, did you no. come out in the third period to stretch out? No, no, we decided to rest because we were up 3 1, three one so. I guess we just waited just in case something happened, you know. But uh, you know, how'd you feel? Uh, just started I felt good, and then second period started tightening up on me. Took a pretty big hit uh, over uh, in the left corner there. Uh, uh, kind of upended you. How'd that feel? Yeah, I, you know, it's, you know, it's always the ones that look bad that don't hurt, and the ones that don't look bad they hurt. So it was nothing. It was just a little bump. Talk, talk about your assist. Oh, just. I just kept on telling the guys, dump it, dump it, and I'll get in there first. And, and they dumped it in. I got in first, and I seen uh, Harold in front of the net, and I just passed it to him. Cleo Thomas is a very good hockey player, and uh, he's been uh, nagged with these injuries and, uh, uh, you know, a couple other matters. And uh, uh, tonight he gave us that spark. And uh, I didn't play him. I don't think he had one shift in the last uh, uh, half a game. So, uh, you know, rest him up. Uh, Throw some young guys out there, and uh, uh, I was pleased that uh, he came to me and said, hey, I want to play. Hi, I'm Jane Wagner. This is my husband, Kurt Wagner, my son, Kurt Wagner, <laughs> my daughter, Melissa Wagner, and this is Diana Wagner. All right. Nice uh, sweaters. Thank you. Where are you from? Uh, right now we live in Yukon, Oklahoma, but we're from Toronto. And uh, who's your favorite all-time Leaf? Matt Sundin. Matt Sundin, all of you? Sundin. Matt Sundin. Is it unanimous? Unanimous. Sandine. Okay. <laughs> uh, who do you want to say hi to back in Ontario? Uh, my mom, my brother, other brother, right. grandma. Uh, I'd like to say hi to my grandma and all my friends back at school. <laughs> all right, on to the goalies go. One, two, three. Goalies go! go. Welcome back to Maple Leafs America on the bus with the Central Hockey League, brought to you by Boston Pizza. That's Coach. That's Coach. You like Coach's daughter? He's kind of a nice guy, huh? I don't know Coach's daughter. I only know Coach, uh, Coach Doug. Generations of hockey fans have been following the action in Oklahoma City and up the road in Tulsa. I saw my first hockey game in 1939 on the old Oklahoma Warriors. We played Tulsa Oilers back then. Then when we started back in 1965, we had the Boston Farm Team. And we had them here for, I believe, seven years. And then we got the Minnesota North Star, uh, North Star Farm Team. And when they left, we got Toronto farm team and had them until uh, they left and then the Oklahoma picked up their own team and then back in 1992 we started all over again but, but, uh, yeah I've been a hockey fan for quite a few years <laughs> you actually uh, back when they started out they had you had a lot of players that uh, played in the NHL oh yes oh yeah yeah I'll, uh, Tevers was the goaltender down here, and oh gee whiz, a lot of the Boston Bruins that went up started down here. I can't think of all of them, but uh, anyway, like I said, I've seen a lot of them go up. Tiger Williams is one that I remembered, and Don Cherry, Greg Shepard on that, or a few of them that stuck in my mind, but uh, I can't remember. I've got pictures of all of them. I've got one of the old complete wooden hockey sticks that all of the uh, Bruins players when they were here signed. And uh, a lot of the players here, I've got six from them at this time. I've got four generations of season ticket holders here. My great granddaughter and granddaughter and her husband sit around over there. This is my daughter over here on that. So uh, we're quite a hockey family. What brings you out? What, what is it about the game you love so much? I just love the good, clean playing of it on that. And I like to see the little spice every now and then. <laughs> Reggie Bechtold, 
Let me do Paul Newman double in the top shot. Yeah. All the deals for with number seven. Ron Lowe. Ron Lowe. Ron Lowe played in uh, Hartford, and then he coached uh, Edmonton there last few years. I don't know if he's still. John Grisdale, he played in the Maple Leafs up there for a while. I was uh, Leafs property for uh, three years. I signed a contract with Toronto after that rookie camp, and uh, I had uh, two years and an option. And yeah, I, I got into a few scraps, scored, uh, scored some goals though too. Back with the Bruins in, in the 65-66 and in, in that first expansion, we didn't know it at the time, but we were watching NHL hockey. I mean, NHL hockey was in Oklahoma City. They just didn't say NHL because there were six NHL teams. Then there were 12, and it was still NHL hockey. And then there was 17, you know. But even when the Leafs uh, became the uh, parent club of the Blazers, they were, uh, uh, I mean, you know, we're talking 73 uh, to 78, and uh, uh, and that was still, it was still, you know, there were a lot of players who were NHL caliber players who went on. One man encompasses it all. He ran the Toronto Farm Clubs in Oklahoma in the 60s and 70s, and when the Central League went away in the early 80s, he brought it back 10 years later, and it's alive and kicking. This league here now is a, is a basically a major, uh, what do you call it, category two league. Yeah. At that time it was triple A, so same as American League is today. And we were the farm team for the Leafs, and we were trying to develop players for them. So uh, we went through a lot of players here. But we ended, ended up with the Leafs. Any, any who stand out for you? I mean, you had Tiger Williams here, Eddie Shack. Yeah, Eddie Shack in Oklahoma City for two weeks. <laughs> He and Turnbull for a couple of weeks, they sent him down to get in shape. And uh, Pat Quinn played for me here right from the first year. Played here two and a half years. And uh, Jim Dory and uh, Jerry Meehan, uh, Jim McKinney, Mike Walton, a lot of good players. The 81-year-old started his hockey career in Cornwall, coaching junior teams. He eventually had a stint as an NHL GM with the Colorado Rockies. Last March, he received the Lester Patrick Award for Distinguished Service to Hockey in the United States. It was pretty exciting when they got that, uh, uh, when the commissioner of the NHL uh, called me on December the 9th to tell me that I'd won the, the trophy. It was really, I was on cloud nine. And I told my wife, she was sitting in the chair and I told her about it. She was happier than heck. And then a week later, she was dead, passed away on the ninth. So that was the saddest day of my life. But uh, when we went to New York for the uh, ceremony, the award ceremony in March, uh, the league paid all their expenses and nine of us went there, the whole family. So it was very nice of them to do that. Uh, they paid for a couple of nights to stay, but we, we stayed for a couple of extra nights. So. But uh, it was really thrilling. I mean, it's, uh, I guess, it was the crowning point of my career. To the champion of the Central Hockey League goes the Ray Miron President's Trophy. Next week, we hit the highway again and head west to the Rockies on Maple Leaf America on the bus with the Central Hockey League. Brought to you by Boston Pizza.